Okay, moving into this week's presentation. So most injuries on the football field happen while you are decelerating in, in some form. So if you're having a heavy collision, a lot of injuries can come from that to your ability to absorb force. Or it might be the own your own force that you're creating through moving at high speed. So let's say you're, you're sprinting and then you suddenly need to change direction fast to evade a tackle. So the ability to absorb your own force and cut off one step or maybe cut off a couple of steps if you do a side shuffle. Hamstring development. So the most common injury for a footballer is hamstring strains, particularly as you get above 20 years of age. So we want to make sure that we're preparing the body to be able to handle. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it, it is the most prevalent, but also the higher risk of, of getting a hamstring strain is how old you are. So the older you get, the higher risk you are, as well as your, your uh, injury rate. So if you've had a hamstring strain, you're going to be a higher risk of actually having another one. So preventing it at all costs is, is most important. These are the three key areas that we can that we know through the research to reduce your likelihood of injury. So improving your fascicle length, which is simply the ability for the ham for the hamstrings to, to lengthen. Um, what we know with most mechanisms, they strain when the hip is in hip flexion. So when we're in our sprinting position with a high knee lift, groins are a little bit different. So from here, we want to make sure because of the high volume of running that we do, our hips and all the sitting we do, our hips can become incredibly tight. Um, so I do find working footballers do it, making sure you're doing some mobility. Um, if you if you have good range of motion through your hips uh, and through your adductors, then for you, it'll be the same as the hamstrings. You just need to do a well-specific football strength and conditioning program to reduce your likelihood of injury. But if you're tight through your hips, which a lot of people are, then by just doing the exercises in the gym, you won't reap the benefits of reducing your likelihood of injury. You'll need to actually do more mobility and foam rolling work for that to be effective.